guys, it's me, the Haunted Wolf 12 here, and today we're going to be doing an inflation and review of the Jemmy 2007 Airblown Inflatable 9 foot Reaper Archway. This is a really cool and I think pretty rare one too. I've never seen another one like it before. Um, shout out to my good friend Jaden Wright for selling me this. You guys know him as Jaden the Haunter slash Jemmy Collector. Or, I think it's just Jane the Haunter now. I don't know. But, he sold me this for $55 in shipping. So, I really, I'm grateful to him for that. Because I really wanted an archway, an older archway, for this year. So, I'm really happy. And, the box is in pretty rough shape, as you can see. But, it has the original graphics on the sides, and that's what matters to me. Um, I'm not sure where it was sold, but, as you can see, the original price was $59.99. Um, my guess would be Lowe's because the, uh, uh, Spanish translation underneath the English. That's my guess. I don't know. But see, here's the Spanish side. Here's the back of the box. With the setup instructions and 2007 Jimmy Industries Corp. Here's the English side with the red. Um, yeah. And the front again. So says air blown inflatable archway nine feet tall lights up and weatherproof everything included self inflates in and seconds for indoor and outdoor use and yeah inside there's the original instructions and one of the original replacement light bulbs and it does have two stakes and the tethers but i have the tethers already attached to it it's laying out over there because I had to get it staked down. It's a little bit breezy, so I just wanted to get it staked down before I started filming so I didn't have to worry about it and then falling over, you know. But it is in very, very nice condition for being 14 years old. Um, he said he stored it in a climate-controlled shed the entire time he's owned it. And I definitely believe him. The fabric feels brand new. It's really good. There's some grass stains and stuff like that, but it's not that big of a deal. And... I'll take you to the back where the fan is. It's, um, I'm not sure the model, but it's one of these with the black covering on it. As you can see. And here's the tag. And I assume that's the item number. But, um, anyway, let me zip this up and then we'll plug him in. And right before I plug it in, I'll show you the little sticker on the cord. It says, manufactured May 2007. So, yeah. Hard to do it one-handed, you know. But. Here we go. It goes up pretty quick, too. It might need a little help. I don't know. But when I tested it last night, it went up really quickly on its own. And, yeah, it's going up fairly quickly. It might need help standing up. But, um... Yeah, it's going to need help standing up. One of the stakes came out for the base fan. So hold on, I need to pause it while I stake it back again. And here it is. This thing is huge and beautiful. I love it so much. Got that great classic Jemmy, the old Jemmy feel to it, you know what I mean? The inflatables from the era from like 2005 to 2010 are always my favorite. Just, just the characters the style, everything. I just love them so much. So, um, we'll start from the bottom, I guess. Work our way up. So, fans down at this side. It has five C7s, I believe. One around right here that's burnt out. One around the shoulder area. I apologize for the glare. It's kind of sunny. There's one inside the face. Another one in the shoulder. You can kind of see it, I think. Yeah. And there's another one somewhere in here. Can't really see it on camera, can you? Uh, no, I think it's just the sunlight, but... And then he has, like, actual sleeves around his arms. That's a nice detail. So you can see it's on the other side, too. Right here. He is holding a, a small scythe in this hand. So, it's pretty cool. Like I said, it, it all inflates really greatly. It feels like it's going to explode, which is amazing for an inflatable this old. 14 years old, and it feels like it's going to explode. That's... That's when you know you got a good deal. Um, here's the skeleton hands. They're just printed onto the black fabric. 
Here is his face, which is probably the best part. I just love the expression and the evil looking face. It's just really cool. And to his tallest point up there, I'd say that's probably taller than nine feet. I'd say that's probably closer to 10 feet up there. Nine feet would probably be to the top of his hood, this like uh, rounder part around him. But I love the face, it's really cool. But what's weird about this is it's not like normal screen printing. It almost feels sticky. It's weird, it's hard to explain. Especially you like the teeth and the red on the eyes. It's really weird. It doesn't feel like normal screen printing, but not that big of a deal. It still looks awesome. I love it. And so you can see there's streamers hanging down from the actual arch itself. And on this side, no sandbag or anything, just uh, loops on the bottom for stakes. And on the sides is where the tethers go. Right here. Um, yeah, I guess it is an archway, so I guess let's walk through it. So go under this. Be careful not to hit my head. I'm super tall. I'm like six foot seven, so if I don't duck, I'm gonna hit my head on it. But yeah, here is the back view. Not as cool from the back as the front, but still looks great. Like I said, there's some stains and you know there's some creases because it's been stored in a box for a while. But it's perfect for its age. Look at this. That is super tight. That's not no wear at all. It's just it's in beautiful condition. And the, what's weird is the tethers are really long. I don't know if they're the original tethers, but I don't know. They're really, really long. But I guess I'll stand a ways back to get the, it in the picture all the way. Like I said, I apologize for the glare. But I absolutely love this inflatable, and I am excited to use it in my display and haunt this year. I have plans for this for the entryway to the haunt slash, and it'll be like... Well, I guess I better wait to explain it to you guys because I don't want to spoil anything. But I have big plans for this and everything else that's going to be going in the haunt and the yard display this year. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you like these videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.